I like that though. <laughs> <laughs> And then I got this. So I got on this bodysuit from H&M. Look at my left side of the face. <laughs> yeah, maybe one more. Because I feel like it got nappy real quick. I know because we did a shadow last time and it grew back fast. Mm -hmm. okay. it, 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 it's just too masculine for me. Like Grace today, Grace and today, I ain't doubling back on nobody. I don't think it's gonna be empty. So New Burlington opened up in our area, or I guess you should say the Burlington moved. So we about to go check it out and see what they got. I was on the way to Target anyway to get some hygiene and skincare stuff. And you know, Burlington and TJ Maxx, they always got it for the low. So let's go in here and check it out. Dang Honey, God. look, they got signs on the door saying they're closed temporarily. They appreciate our patience. So back in the car we go. Like, that's like hair grease smelling ass candles. <laughs> that's like hair grease. So, we done been in, we done been in Burlington, Ross. We done been in Ross, Burlington, then back at Ross. And we got a, a few good things, but my main thing is y'all know I'm looking for a new body mirror for my room. And I found one in Ross, but then Darius talked me out of it. He talked about it's plain. It don't got no personality. Da, 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 da. You can find something better. So we're going into Hobby Lobby now to see if there's a mirror there. Honey, I thought the door wasn't about to open. Okay, so this is what we're looking at currently, y'all. So, oh, that's after the 50% yeah. off. Okay. I like that though. Yeah, that'd be fine. So, so you see the difference between my little eighty and ninety dollar budget? Yeah, I, <laughs> I was looking for more like so a uh, hundred. Yeah. Been bad. I like this look too, but I don't like the color. The the size too thick. I want to be the thickest thing in the frame. Okay. See, like this is even like the one we was just looking at, and this is one fifty over here. This is what it looked like, y'all. The one that he talked me out of. He was like, it's so plain around the top. I don't like it. And I can always paint one of these. Here, no, I don't want that thick ass rim around my mirror. I don't know where to put my feet at in the junk. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm gonna help you. So, I'm gonna help you. Did I throw it in the truck? No, come here. Let's turn it up. Your hand don't go to the low one. No. Turn around. Uh, <laughs> I go out. Oh, yeah, your hand do go to the low one. Mm -hmm. I'm big, don't mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you only have three fingers? Because it's an alien. alien. <laughs> 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 this is so funny to me. your shoes but it definitely looked like an alien is carrying you right now <laughs> come right back this way Go. 
<laughs> Look at Darian. <laughs> 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 I got Kaden sticking. It's big. It's a two for one. They gotta do that shit. Oh, they gonna do it after they tap him. Hey y'all, good morning. So tell me why time turned back. And don't mind how I look, I'm putting on a sweater over this when I go to work. But um, time turned back and I woke up at 5 a.m. when I was supposed to be up at 6. So I'm just walking around the house right now doing shit. So last time we seen each other and talked, I don't remember. But I know I last vlogged yesterday when I did my niece hair. What y'all thought about it? I thought I did real good. I feel like I could be a loctician, grace the loctician. Yes. I love working on locks though. So her hair was not easy to do because she got real thick, like 3B, 3A hair, that Indian descent hair. So it wasn't easy to do, but I love how it came out. How it came out. But today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. And I have to work today. So. I'm just up getting mentally prepared for that child. That's the tea. I feel good. I feel like I... I don't feel tired right now. So I'm not grumpy this morning. I am about to stop the Starbucks. My sister got me hooked on getting a Starbucks water before work. Now, typically, she works with me. So typically, she'll get the water and bring it to me. Today, she don't work. So now I want me a Starbucks water instead of getting one from the job. So we're going to stop and get one of those. I'm not buying no coffee. I'm gonna get my coffee from work, and that's that. But what's tea? I'm watching uh, Ebony's vlog right now. Y'all go check my good sis out, and a lot of y'all came over from her channel, so welcome in. But she posted a new vlog yesterday, and I be so late on people vlogs, like everybody, because I be having so much going on. With me working eight to six, it takes me like 30 minutes to get home, another 30 minutes to unwind so 7 30 i'm comfortable but then i'm starting to get tired so the day is over so then the three days that i have off i'll be trying to cram everything into those days so i don't really have time to sit and watch people's vlogs but i'm making time this morning i almost forgot to show y'all these two things i got so the first one is this which is a aloe vera face and body soap so I'm going to see how this works. It's a cleanser on my face. But since we're going to be in the tub anyway, I'm going to use it everywhere. And I really wanted something with aloe because y'all know that's kind of like an all healing plant with a variety of different benefits as far as skin hair. So with this um, particular bar, since it was, I believe it's 100% natural. Oh no, it's not 100% natural. What caught my attention is it says aloe offers several skin benefits as well as results of its natural something in in uh enzymes aloe vera moisturize skin without leaving a greasy feel and remember on my last vlog i was talking about that how when i wash my face and stuff i don't like 
feeling greasy. I'd be like, and feel a little dry. That makes me feel clean. So I got that. And then I got this. So my heel on my foot is starting to look like this. <laughs> and I don't like that. Even after I get a pedicure, it still looks discolored and it starts to feel a little hard. They call it a callus. So I made a, a post on Facebook and a lot of people said O'Keefe's healthy feet going to get you right. And it says guaranteed relief. Number one foot cream in America. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I'm going to keep y'all posted because if you wear, wear heels a lot, where you walk barefooted, some people might just be hereditary. This will get you there. So, like, if your feet snag on the covers, all that type of stuff, this is going to help with that, they say. So, I'm going to let y'all know after I try it because I don't like that feeling. It is not cute and it don't look good. Especially when you got on slides and you walk on your feet doing one of these. It's giving dirty, girl. Mm -mm. So, we're going to get a pedicure sometime soon and then I'm going to start using this. I want to get a pedicure today, but like I said, I get off so late and it's Sunday. It might not be until tomorrow, which is my off day. Okay, good morning, y'all. So today is Monday, and it is my off day. It's 59 degrees outside as well. And like y'all know, Florida, as soon as we get a little bit of cold, we be ready to put on boots and shit. So I got on this little bodysuit from H&M. Real cute. Let me see, can I tilt the camera? So I got on this bodysuit from H&M. I'm about to put on these Steve Madden combat boots and the jacket, it's a crop jacket. I think I got the jacket from Shein and that's today's look. So the plan for today is adulting. <laughs> so, months ago I went to the dentist I took the kids to the dentist and it was found that I have deep pockets in my gums and they only did my deep pocket cleaning on one side of my mouth why they only did it on one side I forgot why they only did it on one side I think because that day they couldn't do the fill-ins I forgot why they did it on one side I don't know but they got to do my cleaning on the other side and then I got to get two fillings today so we're on the way to the dentist right now and I'm running a little behind which is crazy because it's my off day so cups of the rose Bitches in my old phone. I should call one and go home. I've been in this club too long. The woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I've been drinking so much that I'ma call her anyway and say, Fuck that nigga that you lost. Honey, they got me out that thing quick. Look at my left side of the face. The left side of my face is still numb. Oh my God. Okay, so I had to put something on my lips. My lips was looking real dry. But my face is still numb, as y'all can see. I got two fillings on this side. And it's crazy, because I didn't realize she was doing a filling on my wisdom. So at the bottom, because all my teeth over here got uh, veneers, the zirconium crowns, or whatever. They got them all on this side at the bottom, except one. So she did... A filling back there and then she did a filling at the top and apparently I need another filling I thought it was two but she said it was three the other one is on this side at the top and she said when they do the one on this side that's when they'll do the cleaning so today it was only two fillings but the doctor's office that I go to is a freaking vibe they gave me a blanket I had my remote my TV my headphones on I watched a show um, on the ID channel. I love the ID channel. Y'all watch the ID channel? The ID channel lets you know or lets you see how crazy some people can be. So the show, and I hope y'all can understand me. If y'all can't understand me, I'm going to edit this out. 
But on the show, this lady, she was uh, dating this man and she was cheating. Kept cheating on the man. Dogging his ass out. Kept cheating. So, he's like, forget this crap. Like, I'm done. I ain't about to keep getting dogged out. Like, if you want to be with other bruh, be with other bruh. So, she ain't like that. She wanted to keep two-timing them. She stabbed this man 17 times to the point where the top, the top part of the screwdriver broke off. She took his body in the house. And apparently, dead weight is different from when you're alive. I know nothing about it. But you get heavier when you die. So when she took him inside, she couldn't move him again to dispose of the body. She asked her 13-year-old daughter to help her dispose of the body. The daughter was scared and frantic and said no. So she cut the body up in half with the, saw, with the chainsaw she bought him and disposed of the body in the river close by. It took him about a year to figure out it was her. Guess how they found out it was her? With a speck of blood from her uh, seatbelt. I guess the seatbelt was extended when she was stabbing him and one drop of blood fell on that mug. But honey, I'm like, that was wild. That was crazy. But that was my first portion of adulting today. She said I can't eat until I get feeling back on this side because I can mess up the insides of my jaw. So we're going to have to stick a pin, but I'm hungry as hell. I don't know if I want to go grab me a coffee or what. It's 10 o'clock. I don't got shit to do. I got shit to do at home, like cleaning, but I don't want to do that. Who like clean? I don't like cleaning. I'll clean, but I don't like cleaning. So what else can we go do, y'all? 10 o'clock on my off day. I got a haircut at four. Half of my face is numb. And I'm hungry. And I gotta put up clean clothes at home. Y'all, I've been dope. I've been riding the wave of letting Darius do the house chores. Like, it was to a point, y'all used to hear me complaining where he would not put up clothes, he would not cook, he would not clean because I was at home most of the time when I went and working. So now I'm back working. Baby be pulling his weight. He be cooking. He made some chili one day. He made some cute steaks another. He be putting up clothes. He be cleaning. So I'm like, sis got to tighten up. <laughs> I got to tighten up. So we going to do some housework at some point today. But So I fell asleep while I laid down when I got home and fell asleep. And it's a lot later on in the day. So I basically slept my day away. My face and mouth feels a whole lot better. I was looking like I had a stroke earlier. Where's my phone? So we're about to go get a haircut. I know it seemed like I just got a haircut, but when I just got a haircut, I didn't get my sides as low as I typically do. And I feel like my ish look peasy. So I want another haircut. Yeah, maybe one. For the whole shop? Oh, two. No, nah, if you don't need the space. So, I want um, my size ball because mm -hmm. I feel like it got nappy real quick. I know because we did a shadow last time and it grew back fast. Mm -hmm. That was like five days ago. <laughs> right. Darius, so you got a haircut every week now? Maybe. <laughs> and then I want. Darius um, still trying to get a haircut. She looks like <laughs> shit. He just hit me up and said, put him in for Friday. Oh. So like the girls be having a part on the side. Mm -hmm. I don't got a picture, just like a straight part. Just kind of like just like a simple part like that. I just mm. want it plain this time. I got you. But they can see through. So, but you want to keep the top, right? Yes. And yeah, then just ball faded. Yeah, but I want my mohawk. Oh. Okay. So, so want, like, I'll half just do a razor mohawk. The other half okay. But then the I'll add the hard part. That'd be wrong. Okay. And then I'll be able to blend you know all saying? this out. Posting on Troy Face at Troy Face. A funny thing happened. Look, you don't miss it. At Troy Face. A funny thing happened. On Troy Face. At Troy Face. The city of uh, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. So what it do, young nigga? 100. I am on a 24 hour champagne diet. Spilling while I'm sipping. I encourage you to try it. I'm probably just saying that because I don't have to buy it. The club owner supply. Fresh cut, fresh cut. So he talking about he felt like he wanted to put a tape up line 
on my head, it would have been cleaner. I'm like, uh-uh, sir. No, no, no. Darius always teased me, and he'd be like, if somebody see me in the car, they're going to be like, it's two guys in the car, two niggas in the car. That's basically what he say. They're going to be like, it's two guys in the car. And if you put that sharp ass line on my tape up, it, 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 it's just too masculine for me. Like, mm -mm, couldn't do it. But my mohawk came out cute. Cute. Y'all probably seen more of it than I did. But we on the way back home. They were doing some little updates inside the barbershop. And it looked like it's going to be real cute. Them hexagon got lights that the guy was holding. They about to put them on the ceiling. I low-key want some of them for my beauty room. Like, that will make... Like, filming top tier, lighting top tier. And it's gonna look fire, I'm sure. But we about to head to the house. I'm ready to do what I do. Baby, what you wanna do? Shoot your shot, cause I'm bulletproof. Oh, listen, wait, baby. Baby, what you wanna do? I'm ready to pull up on you. I'm ready to do what I do. Good morning, y'all. So today is Tuesday, and we is on the way. We are on the way to get our lashes done. And child, I'm running late. This traffic downtown through Jacksonville is a different kind of traffic in the weekday, and I usually don't come this way, so I didn't allot enough time. So I'm running behind. But the beautiful news is my lash tech texted me, and she was like, she's stuck in traffic too. My response was great. Because <laughs> I didn't want to be the first one to text saying I was late. So I was kind of just pushing it until the end. But luckily we both running late. So technically we both going to be on time. But I'm about to get some lash extensions. And I want to do the wispy set. And I don't want them too, too long. So like maybe a 15 through 16. That's the length I would do. Definitely want to do the DD curl. So I can have that, you know, curl. Yeah. But that's what's tea currently. I have not ate nothing. Took Darren to school. He wanted to say hey to y'all, but I was in a rush. I wasn't thinking about vlogging at that current moment. Okay, so I made it to the location first, which I ain't mad at because I ain't got nothing to do today. I just ain't want to be late because she has to work. She got clients after or whatever. But child this morning i was chilling in bed scrolling everybody's in awe about nelly and ashanti and i want to know what y'all think about the whole double back thing because it's cute for them you know it worked out for them cool not hating not saying nothing bad happy for ashanti happy for nelly but my thing taking them out of the equation the whole doubling back with the ex do y'all do that are y'all okay with that did y'all have success with that I just feel like once it's done, at this point in my life, because Darius, Darius is a double back. We broke up for a little bit, then we both double back, and then now we married. So, <laughs> my double back apparently worked. But this point in life, like Grace today, Grace and today, I ain't doubling back on nobody. God forbid my marriage don't work, whatever. That's just it. I'm... We were made to move forward, not move back. So comment down below and let me know what y'all think about the whole double back thing. Have y'all ever double back and it worked? Have y'all double back and it didn't work? Like, what's T? Meet me in the comments because <laughs> I want to talk. <laughs> but I ain't got much of nothing going on. I'm sitting in the car, waiting on her, scrolling. I'm also editing this vlog. And I'm noticing, like, it started off kind of choppy not necessarily choppy i just ain't do a lot of talking i didn't realize that and then even when we went to burlington early in the vlog i was supposed to give y'all a haul of all the stuff we got like burlington was full with stuff and i don't know if it's because of the holiday season but if y'all got a burlington there y'all check them out but we got a bunch of clothes for darian and he started wearing some of them so i wasn't even able to do the haul like when i buy stuff for other people in the house if i don't do the haul as soon as i buy it they jump in the bag and they start pulling out. I'd be like, just wait a minute. So we got hygiene stuff. Um, we got clothes. I got a few candles. And that was pretty much it. But I ain't, I ain't get to give y'all a haul, unfortunately. Everything is now unpacked. But after I get my lashes done, 
we either going to get something to eat, do like a little mini solo date vibe, or we're going back home. Because I still got laundry to finish. Like, I need to get this laundry finished before I go to work tomorrow. I don't want to start another work week with all them clothes piled up like that. It's, it's just, mm -mm. Check it out, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Hey, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it because I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, they need a thousand sweet. We bamboo sticks out on the Jeep. <laughs> it's a new weirdo every day. So the lashes are done. This is what they look like. We can talk more about them a little later, but I just got a call from Darius School, and he has a fever that's over 101, which is real concerning because I forgot what the limit or what the temperature is, but after a certain amount, you can get uh, brain damage, basically. And I told them I'm on the way. It's gonna take me like 30 to 45 minutes to get there from where I'm currently at. And they're like, well, please hurry up and get there because if it takes anything more than an hour, we're going to have to have an ambulance to come get him and take him to the ER because the school can't give them no Motrin, no Tylenol, no nothing like that. So him just sitting there and the temperature increasing is dangerous. So I'm trying to hurry up and get there. I don't know what the hell this fever is about, but I know my baby has, has definitely been having a hard time lately. Like, the first thing, I don't even think I talked about any of these things on the vlogs. The first thing is he dropped a bead in his ear mistakenly, he says. How you mistakenly drop a bead in your ear, I don't know. So, had to get that removed. Same day that happened, you outside playing with your friends, and one of your friends hit you in your eye, and he had a fat behind black eye. Like, black eye look real, real bad. And now you have this fever going on, so I don't know what the hell is going on, but... I need God to put some hands on my baby. Like, that's the youngest of the camp. Like, I don't know. I just feel away right now. I feel anxious. I feel like I need to hurry and get to the school. I feel like I need to put hands on my baby. Like, I'll see y'all once we get to the ER. I'm heading to his school right now to pick him up, and then we're going to the ER. So we just in the back sitting and waiting. They done swabbed him. They done swabbed him for strep COVID and one more thing, but they said his throat is really red and inflamed. And I'm just over here nervous because he's usually a pretty healthy kid. And now he's having a hard time walking. So we sitting here waiting on results. Oh, look at the baby and his daddy. Not funny. I, I know it's not funny, but it looks funny. <laughs> you snappy. So we are out and leaving. Darius is carrying the package and he's feeling a lot better. They really still don't know what was wrong. They gave him antibiotics to cover all possibilities. I really feel a way that they ain't do no blood work, but they say it wasn't necessary. I tried to put pressure on them, but they just did the test that they thought was necessary for an eight-year-old. But we're hungry. Darren is concerned about if he can still play football, <laughs> which he can. So we're about to go get something to eat. That was definitely a scare. And I'm sure a nice copay bill. We headed into Target. I don't know what happened. Talk to the people. Tell them what's going on. Uh... We got to go to Target to pick up, uh, to go to CVS inside of Target to get Darian's medicine. And what else we got to do? What's going on, people? I could be anywhere in the world, but y'all see it. Yeah, y'all see it. Hey, but Target is partnering with everybody. I didn't even realize the pharmacy inside Target was CVS. So apparently, we are a little sick. Nose itching, like all up in here, feel congested. So we we'll want to see what they got. Ooh. Ugh. I don't know. I I got stuffy nose, itchy nose, runny nose, and congestion coming on. That night quill, vapor pool look real soothing. <laughs> Let's 
That thing look like it gets right. Lucy's mucus, just in. <sighs> you so slow. Team members on the way. Get your ID for NyQuil. Baby, God is on our side. Apparently, you gotta have ID to buy NyQuil. People be just. Would they be buying NyQuil and getting messed must, up on it? They must be getting. <laughs> third, third, off some NyQuil. Hosted on some NyQuil. I said, damn, dude, I need, I need a license to buy NyQuil. Luckily, the lady was nice enough. And she's like, just go ahead and enter your date of birth. And she let us get it. And I'm like, child. Yeah, she looked at my face. She said it was so screwed up, but I, I was ready to say. Yeah, if looks could kill, that lady would have been dead. Or is this a special type that, like, a clap? Oh, this mug look real cute. I like the packaging. Oh. Y'all, it, it seems like this shit is just progressing real quick. Real, real quick. What? Yeah. I got, we got things we're trying to do this weekend. So I'm about to take this one. The NyQuil, Vapor Cool, Severe Colding, yeah, Colding Full, Congestion. So it has some pain reliever in there for headaches, nasal, nasal congestion, sinus pressure, sneezing, runny nose, cough. This is what I need. I wonder, does it have anything in here to make you drowsy? It has to, right? NyQuil is going to make you drowsy. I think it's the dox, doxylamine. This thing right here. <laughs> That's what be getting the people messed up. That's why they got to ID people. You can take my breath in that bitch for an hour. It seems like it's me too. They keep on falling, sliding, all kind of fooling. Okay, so. Adult peel back. Still ain't got to it. What I need. Over 12. I need 30 ml. How much is that? That's like the whole thing. That's a shot for real. Little night cool shot. Cheers. It's like eating Vicks. Really? And like my whole throat. What, are you supposed to swallow that? <laughs> what else would you do with it? Yeah. Mm. Let me see about you. Okay, I'm about to drink this tea. Get to add it in and then curl up in this bed and it's a new work week for me tomorrow. Wednesdays really start my work week. That's my, Wednesdays on my Monday, so. It's the new work week for me tomorrow. So y'all already know. Y'all could have been anywhere. Mm-hmm. Doing anything. Mm-hmm. Watching anybody. But y'all are here with me. And for that, I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog. <laughs> Maybe.